Hey. Hi. So I spoke with Gwen yesterday and she said that the theme of this season is savior. So what would you say that that's theme for your characters? Want to start, Marina? Where should I? I think you. I think you're oh. launching. launching this. What? I think your launch, it's your savior. I think Kimber is oh. fine right now. <laughs> so okay. It's um, more, you're a little more broken. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, the 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 subtitle of Savior would be Can the Broken Be Saved? And uh and uh Hank is as broken as we've seen him since at least his son died. Uh, and I believe that the death of Anna kind of probably triggered that loss, you know, because he, he tends to be somewhat of a solo hermit type of creature socially. And, uh, and so I think more than he knows, these connections are important to him. And then when they're taken away, it's a, it's a real loss. And, um, you know, I think he will survive, but uh, it's 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 difficult, and so he's going to have to end up with some coping mechanisms, and uh, and there are layers of progress or healing that 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 are going to affect themselves as as we move forward. But he will be uh different and uh just like any other human being you know has to deal with this kind of a loss um it's 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 a personal uh thing which is is, is somewhat new i think for our show in that it's 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 a little bit more personal to the characters what's happening now it's less just a cop show it's 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 more, it's still a cop show, but there's, it, it's the life of a cop personally, I think to more so. And I, and I find that interesting and, a, and, a, and, a, and an interesting balance to navigate uh, just in terms of the production, but also as an actor. So it's fun. I don't know if I answered the question, but I talked a lot. That was great. Anna, you wanna go? Well, sure. And, and Marina, what can you say about what we might see for Kim, you know, starting the season and, and kind of how it starts to play out? Um, I think you will def, uh, we've been, Berzik has sort of been in limbo for a while. And I think um, Kim will sort of make a decision either way, starting in episode two and follow down that path. I think we'll learn that the shooting uh, where she was shot at the end of season eight hasn't really left her. And that's sort of part of what's hurting her relationship with Ruzik. And she doesn't, and it's sort of like, is going to come up a bit more in the season, how that's still haunting her. And I'd say that sort of goes back to the first question of her being, her brokenness sort of coming to the surface that she's been trying to hide for so long. And she's also a savior of uh, Michaela. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, and uh, and I think that Rusek is a lot of his uh, that draws him to Kim is to save him in some ways. Uh, it, uh, she's a, I think she's also a boy. definitely saved Kim as well. I think that there was after the miscarriage it was really a brutal time and they've sort of had this connection. So they both are, you know, each other's lifeboats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kim was broken earlier. Yeah, I'm really a trendsetter for the breaking. I, I don't, I don't want to say leader. I've definitely been broken for a long time. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dan, did you get to ask a question? No, uh, Marina, I want to pick up, you had mentioned the episode where your character is not only shot, but kind of assaulted at the end of season eight. 
Um, as an actor, how do you prepare to, to play that sort of a scene? And how do you maintain this balance of reflecting what can happen occasionally in a city like Chicago and keeping some respect for people in real life who might be facing that sort of a situation? Oh, that's a lot. That was a lot in one. Um, Sorry. <laughs> What's up? As an actor, how do you like playing that scene? I mean, it's pretty intense. So how'd you prepare for it? Oh gosh, that was one of the coolest things. They had a camera on top of me. Now the scene that you saw was probably 20 seconds of me crawling, maybe a little longer, but in the beginning, just trying to get, uh, get into a place where I could crawl to the car. But what the director Chad did is he let he was like, let's just go through the whole thing and take your time. And it was like a play and I was Daniel Day-Lewis and I got to do it exactly, you know, and we, we're a quick show. We don't have a ton of downtime. And so you learn as an actor to pick up your cues and your beats. And I was allowed to just live in it and the pain. And it, it took about, the, the whole shot is about three minutes long. And it was so cool and wonderful to film. Um, I think for me getting into that moment was more the noise. Like what noise can, not a TV noise of like, ah, uh, you know, but a real painful sound. And that's sort of what I was, that's how I got into it. The, the real, um, real pain, real struggle. How much, how much can you speak if you've been shot twice? And then talking to a bunch of doctors to infuse it with truth. Excellent. It was an audio inspiration. Really cool. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> it was amazing. Amazing. Thanks. Yeah, that was beautiful work. That was a great question. Well, we have time for a couple more. Laura, you want to go? Absolutely. So we have some changes coming to intelligence in this season, and Torres is coming on board. So for both of you, what has it been like to have this new series regular and to bring Torres back for season 10? Jason's in love with Benny. Very I, I, I tell you what, I <laughs> met Benny. He did our show, what was it, season something, like a long time ago. And he came on, and I, I think I had to arrest him. <laughs> I had to arrest him. And uh, we did the scene, and he was improving and going off the script not just in terms of the dialogue, but also in terms of the action. And I was, after they yelled cut, I said, who are you? I, I was so impressed with this kid. And he, he's the most lovable person you've ever met. He's the most happy, sweet human being and enthusiastic, just an amazing attitude toward life and work. And uh, I fell in love with him. And I said, uh, and, and, and I connected with him. We did another scene and I, I kind of, he, he said this was the second time he'd ever been on camera. And I said, you are so talented, it's unbelievable. And then when he came back to, uh, there was a possibility of this role, Chad and I suggested him. And I had a feeling when they did that he could become a series regular, which is what it is. And I, I'm so excited for not only the character, but for the career ahead of this young man. He's a extraordinary uh, potential. You know, I, 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 he's uh, super talented, but also I think attitude monitors talent and his attitude is the size of the sun. And uh, it, 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 that's the kind of thing that just excites the hell out of me. So uh, I think that the sky's the limit for our show with him and for him with him. So you, you get to, this is, a, you know, he, he's going to be with us for a little while. And, uh, and I think that uh, many wonderful things can happen for him and for us. That's great. Well, thank you, everyone. That is 